Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the 30th of May. And what does that mean? Monarch Reigns has released. And actually, earlier than expected, typically the DLC drops release around noon Pacific Standard Time, unlike the previous one that ran into some technical difficulties and ran, ran a little late. This time it came out around 11 a.m. So I had some issues with my router, so downloading took forever. So it's about playable around the same time as always, regardless. Anyways, uh, I started to go in and look at the new stuff. Clicked on Monarch, perched it, and realized that uh, maybe some people would want to see some of the new stuff. Since maybe they're stuck at work, or they haven't gotten the DLC yet, or they're just curious. Uh, regardless, I stopped what I was doing, and uh, we'll just go through it together. Basically, the only thing I've done so far is I gave him some paint. Uh, Monarch, I also purchased him. So Monarch, you're not going to see it now because I've already unlocked him. Um, he costs 200 credits. He's free for everybody. He doesn't cost any real money. He's in the game. But if uh, you want to permanently unlock him, it's 200 credits. Or you have to be level 20 f to be able to play him. So if you're Gen, I don't know, Gen 70 and level... 10, you can't play them unless you purchase them, or if you haven't even regenerated yet, and you're a Gen 0, but you're a level 18, you've got two levels left till you can play him. So he unlocks at level 20. Every time you regenerate, he'll relock until you're level 20 again, unless you purchase him for 200 credits. Now, Monarch is a little different uh, than the typical Titans, therefore... Or not therefore... Um, basically he's different because, or her, whatever, he, she, it's an it, it's a robot. The, uh, core ability on Monarch upgrades him, and he can upgrade three different times. So, the core ability de uh, description is recharges your Titan's shields and upgrades your Titan in order of the upgrades above. Those would be these guys right here, and I'll get into those in a second. Uh, your right bumper is a rocket salvo, launches an unguided rocket swarm. Left bumper is an energy siphon, it slows enemies and it generates shields. Uh, I imagine that's also how you can shield your teammates with that ability as well. Heavily armored targets generate more shield. So you're going to get more shield from a legion or a scorch versus a, uh, a skinny north star or ronin. Your Y ability is rearm. It refreshes the cooldown of your dash, offensive and defensive abilities. And the gun is the XO16 20 mm automatic rifle. So the only two guns, technically there's more than that, but the only two main guns that have not come into Titanfall 2 are the Arc Cannon and the Quad Rockets. The Quad Rockets are actually in campaign, so I expect to probably see them uh, on a... Another Titan when it gets released, if it gets released. I think they're going to release two more. I've always said from the beginning they're going to release a uh, light, medium, and heavy Titan to make uh, uh, three variants of every three of all three chassis uh, because we were missing the chain gun, and here it is. We were missing the quad rockets, and we were also missing the arc cannon. Now, technically, uh, Ronin uses the model of the triple threat gun from... Titanfall 1 and it fires this ridiculous shotgun spray instead. It used to lob in Titanfall 1 um, grenade canisters that bounced around and you could change trajectories and, and the formation of the spray. Um, so technically that can make a return as well but I don't think so because they already changed how it works and they on Ronin. Alright, so the Titan kits. Same stuff as always. Uh, stealth auto eject, turbo engine and assault chip are all free and then overcore counter ready nuclear ejection all cost five credits let's just go ahead and lock those now actually i'm gonna give him core i've never played him yet monarch kit what does he get so shield amplifier energy siphons shield gain is increased by 25 percent so you can increase your shield these guys are all 24 credits no, it replaces your selected execution. Oh, interesting. So at the end of this video, hopefully I'm going to keep this short and sweet. They're, uh, they released... Um, uh, also, by the way, this is unscripted. 
they released a trailer this morning for just the Monarch. It's a quick, like, uh, I don't know, minute video. I'll attach that to the back end of this video also if you want to see it. It's pretty slick. It kind of shows the new assassination. Um, your pilot actually jumps out of your Titan, jumps on the other Titan, takes the battery, jumps back in as it blows. It's kind of cool. I don't know. We'll have to see what it all looks like in motion. I'm not going to put any gameplay in this video. Uh, I might do a gameplay later on today because I believe Titan Brawl also released... Uh, so this one, what does this one do? Energy Thief Core Meter is earned 10% faster and Titan Execution steals the battery. So this is also a new execution, it sounds like, from the standard. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock that so we can get more shield. We can earn our meter faster and change our execution. Rapid Rearm reduces the cooldown of Rearm by 5 seconds. That's your Y ability. Survival of the Fittest. Batteries can repair the Monarch out of a doomed state. Oh, I thought that was standard. Okay, so that's just an ability. Uh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and, um, sure, do the new execution. I want to see the original ones. So we'll do energy. Uh, dome and warp fall are standard. Warp fall unlocks at level 5, or you can purchase it. I always use warp fall. I don't use dome. I hate dome. All right, let's look at the core upgrades. So your first core upgrade, standard, is arc rounds. The Exo-16 rounds deal more damage to shields and drain energy from Vortex and Thermal Shields. Oh, okay. So you can uh, you can deplete the Vortex and Thermal Shield from Scorch and Ion quicker. It also increases your ammo capacity. So by default on your first upgrade, this is available. Uh, it looks like Missile Racks is another variant that unlocks at level 3 or 25 credits for a permanent unlock. Let's go ahead and purchase that. And then energy transfer is at level 8, or 24 credits. Missile racks. Rocket silver fires twice the amount of missiles. And I don't know how many there fires yet uh, to begin with. Energy transfer. Hitting friendly titans with energy siphon gives them shield. Oh, okay, so you have to have this equipped to be able to transfer energy to friendlies. Okay, so there goes that idea that it's standard. Uh, what do we want? Bullets. I want to be able to shield the teammates. That's what I want. That's how I'll play this character. All right, level two upgrade. And I don't know if you die, if it resets your core upgrades, uh, or not. So that's something else to consider. You might not be able to get upgrade three or upgrade two because if you die, it might reset you. Um, and if that's the case, I don't see a lot of people get into upgrade two or three unless your core ability on this Titan is gained super quick. All right. Rearm and reload. Faster reload and rearm speeds. Oh, okay. So rearm, your Y ability has a uh, activation time. Maelstrom unlocks at level 5. Electric smoke is intensified, dealing more damage to Titans and pilots. So for those of you who are veterans and or not veterans, uh, fun story about Titanfall 1. There was an era for a couple months, uh, mid-life cycle of Titanfall 1, where the electric storm was super OP, and the Strider, aka the, the light, the small titan, basically the Ronins or the um, North Stars, uh, would get triple boosts, booster on the map, pop smoke on you, out in the middle of a field, mind you, where you have plenty of room to move away, you would die before you could get out of the smoke, unless you were quick enough to boost out. Um, it was intense. So I'm curious to see if this will, will make the electric smoke that powerful again. It was actually super annoying and super cheap. Um, and I'm glad I got fixed. So, I don't know. Maybe this will be... I'm interested to see what this will do. So, another 24 credits for permanent unlock. Energy field unlocks at level 9. Energy siphon affects a large area around the pilot of impact. The point of it. Jesus, the point of impact. So, I'm wondering now if you've got multiple titans clustered together. If you tag one... Can you affect multiple? Does it do splash damage? Let's see. What do we want? What do we want? Let's try the... Uh, actually, I'm going to do the... I'll do smoke. Core upgrade three. Multi-target missiles. Hold rocket salvo to lock on to heavily armored targets. Missiles deal more damage. Superior chassis unlocks at level seven. Upgrade Monarch's max health and removes weak points, so you can remove crit spots and upgrade more health. Okay, okay. 
installs the accelerator mod for the XO16, increases max fire rate and damage. So you can, wow, you can kind of go defensive, you can go offensive, you can go support. I'm going to go tank spec, bro. Tank spec, tank support and gas. Right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What does uh, the developer say about him? He's, uh, communicate, let your teammates know when your energy transfer is active. Damage is a 2 out of 3 star. Health is a 2 out of 3 star. Mobility is a 2 out of 3 star. Use battery boost before embarking to accelerate your first upgrade. Wait, use battery boost before starting? Hmm. Okay, so we're past 10 minutes. I want to wrap this up. I don't. I didn't know battery boost would uh, increase your core ability. That's what it sounds like. We'll figure it out. Um, I'll put out another video uh, with my afterthoughts on Monarch. Maybe a review of the actual Titan itself um, in the next day or so. Um, but uh, nonetheless, this was just quickly all the stuff that uh, the game has to offer for Monarch when you first boot up the game with the DLC. I haven't really played him yet, clearly. I just unlocked everything. Wanted to show you guys what it's all about. If you're stuck at work or you haven't gotten the game yet and you're curious or whatever. So here's the video that Respawn released earlier this morning. It's pretty sick. I'll see you guys all in the next one.